Hey there, Easy Miss Lil here, and it's running diary number two. So I am now nine weeks to my goal, aka the race week is counted as week zero, so it's actually ten weeks to my goal. Uh, updates um, are that I have bought a new running book, so you know about this book, right? Road Racing for Serious Runners, of course. So I bought a new book called The Art of Running Faster. Because why not? I never thought I'd be somebody who would want to run faster. Um, what do I mean? So basically, um, things like 5Ks. This book has basically inspired me that if I can, if you can run between um, five, seven to eight minute miles, which I usually run about seven minute miles, um, then you can run five minute miles. And I'm like, I could do a 5K in 15 minutes. And then I just dreamed away, and that's how it happened. That happened. I really like this book. I'm a running geek, you know that. You probably didn't know. Oh, fine, I'm a running geek. So I can just get carried away reading this book. I was on a stationary bike doing my cross-training 5, well, 10K, which is meant to be equivalent to my 5K running, especially in terms of time, at least. And I got so carried away by reading this book that I ran to, I, I cycled to 11, kilometers before I looked up and was like oops anyway. but yeah this book is good because it speaks about the things that we like kind of I've already mentioned before you know all the pure endurance pure speed and all that other good stuff but it also adds in some very important things that a lot of well I know myself as a runner and a lot of other runners tend to take for granted so things like stamina speed strength suppleness um, mental toughness but you know there's also the kind of art of running well so the technique in there so stamina which is something I know myself and many other runners kind of once we want to go up in a distance we just kind of want to do long runs and think that's fine and plod along but actually you do need to improve your pure speed with different exercises and um, that way your long runs will benefit you and you'll be able to do them even better times than you thought um, the other thing is strength, and this is not just like leg strength, like, like abs, because you need your abs as your core, your center of gravity, and the connect between your arms, your arm swing, how fast they're going, and your legs. The next thing is suppleness, which a lot of runners, myself included, don't, like, we really neglect it. So, like, I used to not stretch before or really after a run. I felt the pain of not having stretched and gone for runs and then done strength training on my legs and abs and then just felt all tight and stupid and then have to buy. Oh yeah guys, that's the other thing I got this week. A foam roller. Something to just help unknot all your like muscles, aches and pains so you kind of just roll it around on the floor on it um, along the muscle lines and it actually just unknots. It's painful but it actually does like really relieve uh, like tightness, so it's really good. Even yeah. when you're doing long runs and you're stretching enough, you may still need to do this just to loosen things up afterwards. So that's cool. It also speaks about your mental toughness, so kind of how to be in the zone when you're racing, how to be in the zone when you're training, just how to get your mind right for whichever races you're doing. Because You need to be in the right place mentally, and you know your body, and you need to just listen to your body and keep going in that mindset so that you can maybe win. But yeah, that kind of stuff. So. That's all for this week, guys. As um, usual, comment, rate, subscribe, share with your friends on other social me media. Wow. And thanks for watching. Take care, guys. Oh, and don't forget to sponsor me. <laughs> I don't know why they stress. I don't know why they hate.